Hey guys, and welcome back to a brand new modeling video in Maya 2018. Well, today we're going to be doing a uh, subscriber request for a Star Wars fan. We're going to be modeling a Return of the Jedi Luke Skywalker lightsaber. Okay, here we go. Alright guys, well we're in Maya 2018 as you can see, and I loaded up my reference images, and I'll make sure they're linked in below so you can find them. And uh, I decided to do a little time lapse on this video for the simple reason that the modeling itself is not that complicated, uh, but all in all, uh, it still took uh, quite a bit of time to do it. So uh, yeah, I cut it down to about uh, seven minutes or so, and you should be able to follow along nicely. Now I'm starting off in the model with a cylinder that has the smallest diameter, and then I'm going to put in edge loops everywhere where it's going to be extruded. Okay. So that way, when those are all put in, I can just go into the individual segments and um, extrude that out, okay? Because basically, almost every piece of this is a uh, part of the cylinder, okay? And as you can see, I'm uh, taking each of these uh, sections that I divided with the edges and I'm pulling them out. Now, depending on how exact you want to be, you can be really precise about it or kind of eyeball it. I'm uh, trying to do it fairly quickly so uh, you know it won't take too long and uh, we'll just go with that that notched uh, section in the middle there I decided to skip that because I want to do that in one go so uh, when the main part is all in place we'll just uh, give that another second or so yeah just uh, adjusting some things there and then for that main section, um, putting in edge loops will allow me to um, divide them later on by a beveling. So I'm just uh, putting them in. And now that these are in, I'm selecting those uh, faces so I can extrude them. And um, it's going to be a two-way street here. First, I'm going to extrude them. Then I'm going to go in and take the uh, surrounding edges on both sides to extrude them as well. So you get that kind of sloped angle towards uh, the discs that are now extruded. Okay, so just uh, select those and extrude those. And when you do that, you need to keep in mind that if you're going to use the scale tool on it, you need to adjust the um, the direction, and uh, you'll see that in a bit. Okay, so I'm scaling it out. You see it's flaring out to the left and right, which is okay. Then you have to take that yellow handle and kind of push them back so they're uh, aligned. And now I'm going to put in edges in those remaining faces and I'm going to pull those in. And same deal there. When you do that, again, make sure that after you do it, you align them again. Okay, you can see they're going in and by stretching that out, making sure they're nice and level, you get that effect that you want. Okay. So I'm making a good progress on the main body there. Just uh, tweaking those uh, two ends a little bit. All right, and now we're gonna focus on that section where you have these uh, extruded notches, if you will. I'm not quite sure what to call them. And I'm just gonna do that based on a polygon pipe. Now, um, the pipe has 12 sections for the simple reason that we have six extruding notches and we want to have one notch extrude and then one space in the middle, okay? So it's six on six. Just uh, making sure that that's uh, aligned properly. There you go. And then we can go in, we can uh, select six of those faces, uh, extrude them and change the offset. Like I said, this is uh, a fairly easy model to uh, create, uh, so I thought it wouldn't be appropriate to do uh, the full length video on this uh, because I guess that would get uh, boring fast, okay? But nevertheless, it's a fun little model to make. All right, right now I'm creating that triangle that is part of, uh, that's hooked onto the handle. And uh, the quickest way to do that is to simply take a, uh, a polygon pipe in this case and bring the subdivision level back to three, which is a very, very easy way to uh, create something like this. Just adding some edge loops to make sure that it doesn't become too round once I uh, smooth it out. So it looks okay. We'll uh, put that in place. 
and uh, kind of scale it so it's the appropriate size for the whole thing. And then that end section with those notches in it, um, I want one of them to be exactly perfect straight up. You can see that that's not the case, so I'm going to rotate that a little bit. And there you go. So it's a bit cleaner fit. Okay. Scale it down a little bit. Right, not too bad. And next we're going to look at the, uh, I think it's called the main control box. So the rectangular box on top there. So we'll just uh, go with that. We got two references that we can look at uh, from our uh, from our drawing. So height and top. And again, that is pretty straightforward. I'm adding some edges there because I want to have that kind of uh, grid look on top with those um, lines in it. And for those, when I uh, create the cubes for that, I'm going to delete the bottom and side faces just to keep the poly count a bit lower. Um, not really a need for that. But in general, if you're going to do something like this, let's say for a, a game application or whatnot, then uh, that's very important. Okay. So just putting that in place, making sure it's a good fit. Push it down a bit. And there you go. And then we're going to copy them over. Now I want them to be aligned properly, so I'm going to select all of them and just move that over a little bit. And then we have those uh, little, um, yeah, what are they called? Um, I'm just fiddling with the position there for a sec. We've got those two little uh, triangles, uh, triangular buttons, the red and the green one. Uh, again, very easy. Just uh, take, in this case, a cylinder, change the subdivision level to three, and you'll have a perfect triangle. Okay. So I'm going to move my whole model up in front of my uh, reference so I can see where I need to put the triangles in. We'll put one there and then uh, copy that over and flip it. And we'll put one there. Okay, cool. Just raising the top up so it's uh, it fits better with our reference. Just checking the model to see if anything else uh, needs to be done. Uh, I think uh, we just need to do the two black buttons there. And that's pretty straightforward. Just bring them in a little bit, okay? And uh, yeah, I mean, that's basically it, guys. So uh, hopefully you enjoyed the tutorial. If you got any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching and see you guys next time. Bye. Well, thanks for watching. And before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.